Hey, what's going on, you tubulous EXO coming at you? The day has finally come. We're going to put some decals on this thing. I don't know if you guys know this, but Frankenstein actually used to be red up there, and it faded out to white because the curing, something was wrong with the curing process with that batch of ink. So we're going to go ahead and put some Crescendo stickers up there because she is just, she has seen her day, and she is fading out. So let's go ahead and take our little uh, hair dryer here. It would be nice if we had a steamer, but uh, we're going to get some makeshift removal here. So let's go ahead and set the tripod up. Up and get these little crescendo logos up and running because they're going to look spiffy. Sweet. Okay, now that we got that all done, it took 10 minutes and 30 seconds officially. So we're going to go ahead and take some goof off here, or oops, whatever you want to call it, and get the rest of the little residue off so we can have a clean surface for the new ones. All right, guys, well, I got the decals all done. I got the front windshield looking good, the side windows looking good, and we also put a little bit of touch up here on the back. Added some little Crescendo logo to the batteries there since Logic is a Crescendo company. These are the F31 HPs. I love these batteries. I had them for over two years, and they're still pumping out strong voltage. Real good batteries, good quality. And I don't know if you guys can notice, but do you notice that there's carpet? Everything's all trimmed up. I went in between each seam and made sure everything looks good. I didn't have enough carpet to fill up the whole thing, so I figured I'd put the amps in there and then do a little bit of trim work. I think it looks pretty damn nice. The sun is wicked bright, so I gotta stand in just the right spot. But here's what this other side window ended up looking like. Right there. Crescendo. Still got a couple more stickers to take care of over there, but I think I might do that on the inside of the truck. I'm not 100% sure. But what do you guys think, man? I freaking love it. It looks great. So the biggest question you're probably wondering is why the hell aren't I playing it right now? Well, I don't know if you know this, but I live in Maine, and these are Tennessee plates, and it's going to cost quite a lot of money to register this and inspect it. They're really finicky up here about all that crap. So I got to, you know, spend probably about 250 bucks to register because I have to reapply for a title, and that is that that is an extra fee as well. I think it's an extra like 40 bucks or something like that on top of the 200. Probably give me another few days here until I uh, have the money to register it because it is, you know, it's going to be a few hundred bucks plus gas. You know what I'm saying? This thing eats gas, eats it, but that's besides the point. So I got a couple more things I'm gonna do. This is just a little quick update, letting you guys know, looking better. We'll be basing any time. Just be patient, guys. Things are gonna be cutting you crazy. All right, guys, fast forward two days. My frustration level has already exploded through the roof. I've been trying to get this thing inspected all, excuse me, registered all day today. I just wanna change these damn plates. I went to the first place, they told me I needed one credential and I got it, went back all the way the 20 miles and it didn't work. So I went to another town that I actually have a piece of mail to prove I live in the town that I was in. And then that didn't work either, so it's just one thing after another with this. I can't get it registered, but I already paid the excise tax. It's really confusing, I already paid half of it, so now I just don't, I have to pay for the plates, which they won't give me because I don't have a title. So that's going to be coming up real soon, guys. I, I know you're like, I was, I was like, be patient, and now I'm like the ultimate in being un, not patient right now. But I was just really frustrated today. It was, oh, so much bullshit. So many people just telling me one thing, and then I had to do another. I've been going crazy today. Crazy today. But uh, the reason why I'm including this in this video is because yesterday I didn't feel good, so I didn't end up posting an update video the, the day before yesterday. Um, the whole series of clips with the decals and all that, I did that two days ago. So uh, just put two and two together, I'm freaking, I was damn excited, I just wanted to get basin, but now I have to wait a little bit longer. Freaking system done, I got money in the bank and I can't even drive this thing around. Um, but uh, yeah guys, the snow is coming. We got about uh, eight more hours until we have uh, 10 inches of snow coming our way, so my landlord wants this freaking truck out of here. I don't know why, but I don't know. Kind of flawed logic there, too, because of the fucking snowblower is easily, easily accessible around my truck, but that's besides the point. I'm not going to get into a rant about that. But this is EXO. Just letting you know. Oh, yeah, guys, I got an awesome, awesome bass video of the CT Sounds shit doing some freaking work. This system, I'm so happy with it. I freaking love it. These subs are killing it. Fucking awesome. The CT Sounds mezzos, man. Oh, 
And I didn't actually know that these amps put out way fucking more power than they're rated. I actually, uh, I didn't know that. I saw a video on, uh, Steve's little site there. It's freaking pretty impressive there. So until I get that all edited up, we'll have some meantime bass going on, guys. But this is EXO signing out. Thanks for bearing with me. <laughs>